it hits you pretty hard. You get, you start thinking about a lot of things. Well, you, when you, you think about your family, your, your grandkids, your kids, um, things you still want to do. And then you just got to put it in perspective that it is pretty small. Um, if there's good treatments for it. And then that, those fears that you have kind of go away. I learned about the tumor um, after I'd had a physical for my commercial driver's license and my general practitioner said I was having a hearing loss. And she suggested that I go see an ear, nose, throat specialist. It was about a week later she called me and told me that I had a tumor in my head. Besides the hearing loss, the only other symptom I have is I have ringing in my ears, which is part of having a tumor in there, and part of it's just from getting older and hearing loss and being around too many loud noises most of my life. So, but other than that, I feel fine. I, you don't know you have that in your, in your head until they do an MRI. She explained my options, which was going to California and having basically open brain surgery. And that's when I asked her if I could come see Sierra Neurosurgery Group for a second opinion on treatment. Well, his tumor is one of those tumor types that we can be uh, highly certain of the diagnosis based on MRI imaging characteristics alone and it's a kind of tumor that is commonly referred to as an acoustic neuroma, but more correctly as a vestibular schwannoma. And it's a benign tumor. There are a couple of options for treatment for it. Uh, one option is to not treat them, but just watch them. However, with some hearing loss, and with the fact that further hearing loss could really hurt him and his uh, work, um, that wasn't probably a good option for him. Um, the other options are surgical versus radiosurgery. When the second course of treatment, which was a cyber knife, was, was presented to me and explained to me um, how long it took, it was that it was like an MRI or a CAT scan, um, it wasn't invasive, it didn't take me any time at all to make up my mind what I wanted to do. It pretty much became a no-brainer when you can, you can stay here locally and do it. Um, it's non-invasive and the results uh, are the same with probably less side effects. Most patients and their families find radiosurgery treatments to be much easier to tolerate than open surgery. Open surgery carries a risk of death. People do die with surgeries on this area of the brain. Chance is small, but it is there. Strokes are also a risk and there are other complications that can occur either immediately or down the road. Whereas the risks with radio surgery are much less. The patient comes in, has their treatment, goes home and has a normal day for the rest of the day. I'd rather be treated here and especially more of an outpatient than to be in a hospital and actually have surgery. It was a pretty easy decision for me after talking to Dr. Fleming and the success rates that they've had that CyberKnife was, was the option that I felt most comfortable with. We do now have a long track record of radiosurgical treatment for this type of tumor and there is a marked trend nationally for treating more and more of these tumors with radiosurgery as opposed to open surgery because the outcome is so good and the complication rate is so low. The mindset's really pretty good I think. Um, now that I've chosen how I want to have my, what treatment I want, it took a lot of, of worry away. Um, if, if I knew I had to go down to California and have open brain surgery, I would still be pretty nervous or upset about that. But with choosing CyberKnife and knowing how easy it is, it's pretty much relieved every uncomfortable thought you have about the treatment.